Now, how many of you have this in your RV, the analog thermostat that controls your air conditioning? Well, this is what ours came with, and we found the air conditioning to be pretty inconsistent. It was either hot or really cold. So we decided to upgrade to a digital thermostat, and in doing so, we also discovered a manufacturer's defect behind the wall here that we found that once we corrected that, between that correction and the new digital thermostat, the AC performed perfectly. The temperature was consistent. However, since then, we were contacted by a company called MicroAir, the producers of a, a product called the Easy Start Air Conditioner Soft Start System. And they also make something called the Easy Touch RV Thermostat. It's a digital thermostat with Bluetooth capability. So we took a look at it. We liked what we saw and we said, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at it and review it. For we decided to go ahead and review the item because it's something that we would probably like to have in our own RV. Now they sent us the, the thermostat they didn't pay us to make this video. There's no compensation for the review. So the review is ours to make. Um, we are going to install the thermostat. And um, on a longer trip coming up, we're going to evaluate how it works and provide follow-up to let you know what we think about the new thermostat. But first, before we do anything else, we've got to shut the power off to the RV because we're going to be working on electricity. So we're going to shut it off here. MicroAir sent us the Easy Touch RV thermostat. Our model number is the uh, ASY352. They make three different models, actually four different models for different systems that cover the Coleman Mach and the Dometic. We have a Coleman Mach in ours, and they said that the 352 is the one that we would use. It's a direct wire, so I have to connect the wires from the RV to the thermostat. If you got a Dometic, I understand that it takes an RJ45 plug, which is like your phone plug, and you just simply plug it from the RV into the back of the unit and screw it onto the wall and you're set to go. So let's take a look inside this box. One thing I do notice, it is made in the USA. The box is pretty small. It doesn't come with a lot of stuff. And here's the unit. And it's a sealed unit. Oh, here we've got a warning. Do not open this thermostat. Opening voids a two-year warranty. So there installation doesn't require you to open this up to install it and i guess if you do it avoids a two-year warranty so we're not going to do that i see some connectors that are labeled with the colors those are awfully small push pins but let's see how my fingers do with those so two screws which are here and it looks like there's a gauge that goes between the two screws to give you the proper distance so you'll screw these into the walls using this gauge and level. And then once you've got the screw set, you're gonna clip off the, the black part in the middle. I think those are the screw into the old holes with these little covers so you could flip them closed. And then your old old holes from your old thermostat will have covers over them. Let's we'll see how that works. And there's some foam. And then there is a easy touch icon reference card. So these different icons will show up on the the touch screen and they have different meanings so we have a little learning curve here i'll have to figure this out some information on the back and here it is again don't open your thermostat cover there's no need to mess with success it'll avoid your warranty so you leave the cover on you do not go inside this unit you got two screw holes and there's that black mounting piece that i saw it looks fairly straightforward so let's go take the old unit off and put this one on all right, first thing we want to do is get this thermostat off. All power's been cut to the trailer, so there's nothing powering this unit. That we got to work with here. Right. The one thing I experienced during the other video that I made about upgrading to the digital thermostat was I almost lost this into the wall because that hole is so big. So just be aware of that and don't let it go. Uh, I think what I'm going to do here, instead of reconnecting all this, I think I'm going to clip the wires off of here, leave enough for any future owners. I probably could recover some on this in, in a sale. Um, and then these will plug into the back of the other thermostat. So let's get this off first. Strip the 
water. We're going to hook the six wires into here. This will hold up to nine wires. Each system's a little different. If you have a heat pump or a dual zone air, it, it's going to have more wires and different wires. We have single zone with a furnace. So the six wires will plug in white for white, uh, yellow, green high for the speed, sp uh, fan speed, gr uh, gray low, blue, and red. So let's start with the bottle of red. Keep the video going on. I want to turn it on. Oh yeah, it's on. All right, we've got power to the unit now. We'll get um, you can see the silver tape that was under the old thermostat. We'll trim this off and clean it up so you won't be able to see it. But it just slipped over those those screws and those two plastic washers and then pulled down to seat it, and it's it's locked in place. Um, showing inside. It's a little hot in the trailer right now, but I believe we've got to go through a calibration. All right, now I've shown you how to do the install of the unit. It was pretty straightforward. The one thing I noticed was a little problematic for me was I have larger fingers and the buttons to depress on the back of the unit to stick the wires into their respective uh, plugs was very, very small and very tedious. And on top of them being small, the, the whole setup was recessed into the back. So it was a little tricky. I was able to do it. Uh, my wife held the uh, device while I used my fingers and a small screwdriver doing it, so it was, it was doable, not a big deal. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any upgrades in the, or uh, development changes in the future for that to make that a little easier to handle. If you have a Dometic and it has the RJ45 plug in the back, kind of similar to an old phone plug, it's simple plug and play. It's unplug it from your old thermostat, plug it into the new thermostat, and you're ready to go. So now let's talk about using the um, thermostat. The number of benefits that I've seen here now that I've had it for about a week and I've been able to play with it is the controllability of the thermostat while not in the RV. We keep our RV plugged in at the house while we're home to allow us to run the air conditioner to keep the climate controlled inside because it gets very hot in Florida and the humidity gets very high so we want to keep the, the humidity down, the temperature down below 100 to help maintain the interior of the RV. So we're able to do that. With the old thermostat, with the digital thermostat from Coleman Mach that we had on here, if the RV lost power for whatever reason, the thermostat had a set point of 72 degrees, so it would automatically reset back to 72. Well, that required me to not only remember that that happened or realize that we've had some type of power loss on the reset, but I have to come out with the trailer, put the slide out, 
reset the thermostat back to the into the 80s where we usually keep it, close the slide back up, close the trailer up. And I'd have to be aware to check that every now and then because one time I actually did forget. I happened to notice it in my power bill that the AC in the trailer had been running at 72, so it did affect our power bill. And because of that anomaly, I, I, I realized that all oh, the AC was down low and it got very expensive. Now, with this, I'm able to simply just open the app, take a look at the setting of the thermostat, and make sure everything is how it should be. Very simple. I don't have to come into the trailer, I don't have to put a slide out. Very easy to do. Another thing that is uh, really nice about the thermostat and its controllability or remote controllability is the ability to change it while you're watching TV. If you're watching TV, our AC is um, over the TV. It's in the living area of our trailer, of a smaller trailer. So the AC comes on, it's a little loud. Uh, so with the app, I don't have to get up. I don't have to get up and change the fan speed or shut it off. I can simply do it from the, the chair while watching TV. I can lower the fan speed or I can shut the system off if it's just too obtrusive. Um, same thing with at night. At night when we're sleeping, if one of us gets hot or cold and wants the temperature change before the uh, old digital thermostat from Coleman Mach, I would have to get up, turn a light on, and try to read the temperature setting on that small screen so it was not backlit. So you needed a light on. So in the middle of the night you're turning the light on, disturbing everybody. With this, you simply pick up the phone, check the temperature, change the temperature if you want, put the phone down, go back to sleep. That simple. Really have enjoyed using the thermostat. I think the thermostat's got a lot of great benefits. There are upgrades in the future, from what I understand, that will make it even better. So I look forward to those upgrades. Um, like I said, we didn't pay for this thermostat. Micro Air provided it to us. They did not pay us to do the review, but they provided us with a thermostat and asked us to install it and see what we think. Well, I'm impressed. A lot more impressed than I thought I would be. Uh, this is something that I would definitely like to have in our RV. If we ever had future RVs, I would probably install one of these in the future RVs also. So we'll continue to use it. Our trip coming up, we'll be able to use it more extensively, um, learn more about its functions, and then we'll do an update on it sometime down the road after we, we get into this lengthy trip we've got coming up. All right, let's take a look at how the thermostat functions. There's two ways to interact with the thermostat. The first way is through the touchscreen that's built onto the face of the thermostat. The second is through the app on your phone, and that's available for Apple iOS systems and Android systems. When you open up the, the application on your phone, you'll have three selections, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and there's a the third a selection at the bottom is for a link to microair.net where there are resources available to learn how to use the thermostat. It's a great resource and I suggest that you go there to learn how to use the thermostat. All right, let me show you around the, the touch screen on the thermostat, how it functions, and then we'll take a look at how to use the app. All right, on the face of the thermostat, let's take a look at how it's controlled. The top button is the on off. Touch it to turn it off, turn it on. The second button here is the choose the mode of control. This is currently showing the furnace. That's the fan. That's the furnace and the fan AC. And that's for the cool mode. Then you have the fan mode, which turns the fan on. Low, high, auto. So it'll only come on with the AC. Then you have the home mode or the away mode with its multi set points for temperature. And then you have the utility selection, which allows you to go into various functions, such as your Wi-Fi connection, your Bluetooth connection, the QR code here. If you scan that QR code, it'll take you to microair.net. Um, a lot of great resources there on how to install and use this thermostat. To control the temperature, or just simply make it cooler, you touch the blue arrow. To make it warmer, you touch the red arrow. Right now it's telling us that Wi-Fi is not connected. The inside temperature of the trailer currently is 82. It works with both systems. Tap on it. And at first you get, the first page is 
three different choices. The first one is to connect to the system with a Wi-Fi. That's if you are away from the trailer and you have a Wi-Fi connection for the thermostat to, to link to. You can connect the thermostat from anywhere. As long as you have internet connection on your phone and as long as there is a Wi-Fi connection for the thermostat, you can connect to the thermostat from anywhere and control it as if you're using the touchscreen here in the trailer. Another option is also to use Bluetooth. This is for up to 130 feet within the vicinity of the trailer. And that allows you to control it. Like what we do is we have it plugged in at the house. And in order to get to the thermostat, we need to um, put the slide out. So if we want to change the temperature in the trailer for whatever reason, we have to put the slide out adjust the temperature and then if we're going to be out of the trailer and back into storage we close the slide back but to in order not to have to go through those steps we just simply connect with bluetooth from outside the trailer now it won't reach in bluetooth from the other side of the house but about anywhere around the trailer and then within about a half of our home we can reach the bluetooth connection and then we can check so we can see that here that our set point is 82 and i say i want to Go in the trailer in a couple hours and do some work so I need it to cool off. I'm going to change the temperature. And as you see, it changed it on the thermostat through the Bluetooth connection. Now that the thermostat is set to 76, so the trailer is going to cool off. Or if I happen to leave the trailer and forget that I turned it up and I left it at 76, so I don't want to run it at 76 with nobody in the trailer. It's, that's a waste of energy. And there's no need to keep it that cool, so then I can just simply log in. To the app, connect with Bluetooth, and change the temperature back to my set point that I use when the trailer's in storage, and that's about 82. It's cool enough to keep the humidity down inside the trailer and uh, not allow the temperatures to get above 100. Um, hopefully help the inside of the trailer last a little longer. Can also, as you can see, it's connected with Bluetooth. We've got the set points. We're in home mode. If we wanted to go to the away mode, we would click away. And there again, that sets the upper and lower limits for either the AC to work on the upper limits or the furnace to work on the lower limits. It'll, it runs the furnace too. But most time I'm leaving it in the home mode. Then we have our fan control. We can put our fan on low. We can put our fan on high. And we can switch it to auto. So the fan works on auto. So it'll shut off when the AC shuts off. Otherwise, the fan can continue to run on low or high mode. We can change it from cool to furnace. We don't have the furnace on right now. It's too warm in here. And then we change it to fan only. If we just want to run the fan, if the weather's nice enough to run just the fan, we can run just the fan to circulate air. And then there's a the cool furnace, cool and furnace mode, and then back to cool mode. We can shut the system off with the app. We can turn the system back on with the app. Since I'm working in the trailer today, I'm going to lower this a little bit to cool it off. Another, op another option we have is to go into the utility function. It tells you what version you have for your app or set to Fahrenheit. You can edit the Wi-Fi settings where you could locate your network name, add the password, and link in with Wi-Fi. You can schedule um, different zones to run. We don't have multiple zones. We have one AC and we're on a single zone. You can check for updates. An update is found. So we can Select OK. And we'll give it a moment to see what it's going to do here. Okay, so we'll go back to here. It's connecting. Back into Utilities. Notifications. This is what you can use when you're away from the trailer and you want to monitor the temperature in the trailer, the environment. If you have pets, this is for pets. Um, instead of having two separate systems, you know, a digital thermostat to run your AC and a separate 
notification system that alerts you of temperature changes in the RV for your pet's safety and comfort, this system will do it all. Um, you set the upper and the lower limits, and when it hits that upper limit, it's going to send your phone a notification. And then it goes up, every degree it goes up, my understanding is it will send another notification. This gives you the opportunity to either log into the system through Wi Fi or Bluetooth if you're near enough and change the temperature. If you're unable to change the temperature, it continues to increase, or if it's cold, decrease, that tells you you have a system problem and you probably need to get back to the RV to address the issue. So you would set your uppers and lowers and then you would turn notifications on that now would send the system will send you alert if you need it uh, i want to thank you for joining us here on our couple adventure uh, i enjoyed doing these these reviews of products um, micro air was nice enough to give us the thermostat to do this review they're a quality company they are known for their easy start ac soft start system uh, they have a good reputation in the industry and that's why we decided to go ahead and try this thermostat because we figured it was going to be a good product and it was. I'm George, this is our coupled adventure. If you like the video or you want future notifications of videos, click the subscribe button, click the bell, hit the thumbs up, tell us you like this video, and we'll see you on the road. Remember to wash your hands. Remember to wash your hands. Every time you've been Wash your hands. Remember to wash with soap. Remember to wash with soap. When you wash your hands after blowing your nose, remember to wash with soap.